Dear Princess Sunbutt, Letter 125. To Princess Celestia, I write to you in order to express my misfortune. I was led to believe that it was a piece of cake to bake a pretty cake. That phrase means that it's easy. It is not. The instructional video Anonymous showed me clearly stated that if the way were to become hazy, I must do the cooking by the book. It also said not to be lazy and to never use a messy recipe. This is sound instruction, and I have followed it to the best of my ability. However, that is where my understanding ends. The cookbook Pinkie Pie made for me is very detailed. Unfortunately, there are no mentions of the terms used in the instructional video, and I don't know what it means to drop it down or back it up. I'm unsure if those are baking techniques or merely human phrases that I am unfamiliar with. I would seek Anonymous or Pinkie Pie to help me understand, but they are away. My intention was to present them with a cake upon their return, and it seems that this will not come to pass. This misfortune weighs heavily upon me. I only wish to repay my friends the kindness that they have shown me. I will try to find another way to do so. Stu. Letter 126 Dear Princess Bunsen Booty, My purple has reached a shade never seen before in this dimension. I woke up at 2 in the goddamn morning to make them right for me because I'm beyond lazy and I hate seeing others be comfortable. The reason you're receiving this at a reasonable hour is because Anon cares more about your rest than I care about his. The big hoopla? Why is there a concept of a bottomless pit? If there's no bottom, it's not a pit. Otherwise, we can say a donut has a bottomless pit in the middle and it would technically be true. It makes more sense for there to be a topless pit where a bottom exists and the sides stretch up forever. Wherever the top is open or covered doesn't really matter, an infinitely long hollow cavity still qualifies as a pit. Obviously, this is impossible without an unsustainable amount of spatial looping, but regardless, I had to let you know as soon as possible. I apparently think that this will change something major about how we approach magic theory, but it's two in the goddamn morning, and Danon is not in the mood to write any more about mystical bullshit that he's too smart and handsome to understand. Your perpetual night owl, Plumper Nickel. I can handle not having my ass scratching bones, that I'm fine with. But waking up at two in the fucking morning sucks ass. Before I smash my face back into my bed, here, let me give a big thank you to people who are not purple. God, never be purple. Top donators, Dash of Evergreen, Peter Coldhard, J10 Man, and Darkseid. Dospo, RuneScythe9852, Courier Crucii, Delta Omega, Ryanie Dragon Wolf, Secret Moon, Tal Rasha, The Toilet Snake, Soul Dragon, Cerberus, Starlight Glimmer, Squiddy Boy, David D. Sanchez, Gaggy, Shrey, Shadow Drake, Joe Piercy, Alex F., Rainbow Dash, Tilke Anderson, TV Killer, and John Becker. Thank you for watching my torture, and for the love of Celestia's butt, don't become Purple Horse. <laughs>